elementary math program currently has a strong focus in the area of problem solving and creating mathematical thinkers with the standards for mathematical practice, which has been outlined in the Iowa Core. The first standard for mathematical practice deems that a student is mathematically proficient if he or she is able to persevere in solving problems. Our teachers are diligently working to help students understand the various strategies and approaches to solving complex problems without giving up. This skill is vital in math and must be begin as early as kindergarten. Our students are being challenged daily to think at a higher level which has helped them go beyond acquiring isolated ideas and instead towards developing an increasingly connected system of knowledge. Where the content standards are what we want the students to know, the practice standards are really the qualities that we're looking for in our kids. If we look at these things, we just don't want them to have skills in isolation. That doesn't lead to mathematically proficient students. The mathematical practice standards are really the things we want. We want students to be problem solvers, to persevere and not give up. We want students to be able to model in mathematics. We want students to communicate. We want students to be precise. That's one of those practice standards. Being right is important. And so we highlight that as well. Those eight standards really are qualities of quality mathematicians. In the fall of 2012, we upgraded our elementary literacy instructional materials to Houghton Mifflin Journeys. These upgraded materials provided our teachers with instructional alignment to the Iowa Common Core Standards and provided our students access to high quality and engaging nonfiction texts. Over the past year, we have had a strong focus on the implementation of these materials in conjunction with the Iowa Common Core Standards. This has allowed us to increase the effectiveness of our instructional practices and to place high expectations for student learning in all classrooms of Des Moines Public Schools. The new journey stories are so much better than the stories that we've read in the past. They're engaging with the students and they really, truly enjoy reading them. And they're fun to teach. Another great component that came with the new journeys um, uh, materials is the um, addition of Think Central. Think Central is a web-based um, support to what's going on in the um, classrooms with journeys. Um, they are offered materials um, for those small groups um, in leveled readers, we call them, to be able to um, work with kids that are um, considered above grade level, on grade, le grade level, and below grade level. There's a lot more of the nonfiction text that's supported by Journeys. It also, um, higher level text, it helps with um, the students being able to get into the text and also learning those nonfiction. Middle schools have historically focused their collaboration around student behavior, and now the focus has been shifted to student achievement. Middle school collaboration is now organized around a data team model. Teachers collaboratively analyze student data for trends, select strategies appropriate for each trend, and monitor success of the strategies with continuous formative assessment. The data team focus allows teachers to identify and address gaps in a student's skills before the student becomes hopelessly far behind their peers. The shift from focusing on behaviors to academics and deep intentional collaboration has already begun to yield terrific results for our kids. Every other day I meet with my collaborating teacher who teaches the same class that I do. We look at students' um, information that we have from uh, classwork, homework, we look at which students need to um, have more work on certain skills and those that are excelling and decide on activities that we can use to make them go beyond where they are. I think the core part of the data team is, is mentality is there, or, or process is that you're making an assessment that you're going to uh, use with other people within your same content area. You're going to analyze it using the same lens and then you're going to address student needs based on that. Um, so it's the collaboration and then also the fact that you're responding to actual student information. Now we know exactly what, what he's struggling with and then we can um, go even deeper and say like what were the specific error patterns and error pattern meaning like uh, you know was he adding when he should have subtracted or was he ignoring the variable and then we can um, because we're focusing on it as a group we can look for those pieces uh, and, and it's, it's just easier to digest that amount of data when you have a, a group working on it. 
High schools have come together in common understanding that reading is the critical thread that binds all of our students together on the path to success. All buildings have implemented intervention and extension programs from success building to power English to support student reading skills, but more importantly, the implementation of these courses has deepened the understanding of reading in teachers of many contents and levels. Innovations in schedule design and an intentional focus on student achievement data and making decisions about both who will teach and who will learn in these courses have granted students at all of our high schools opportunities to build strength in reading without sacrificing access to a well-rounded, world-class education rich in 21st century skills and rigorous coursework. Skinny classes and ninth blocks are but the first stones on this new road to success and the test scores are beginning to reflect these movements. Basically what we did is mid-year, mid at the end of the first semester, three years ago, we sat and redid our entire master schedule over the course of a couple weeks. What a skinny is, is basically we decided that we were gonna put 45 minutes uh, per day, except on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is a shortened release, so that's about 20 minutes. We really wanted to build the capacity for our teachers in different content areas other than reading to have you know a base knowledge about comprehension fluency um, vocabulary things that we know will impact our kids and what we did is we took kids that were in between about the 20 and 40 percentile on at that time the the iteds now the iowa assessments and we grouped them in about groups of 10 to 12 per teacher and the data was showing us that uh, if a if a student took three semesters worth of um, the lit skinny, then they grew their Iowa assessment by more than 14 points. Because what they learn in my class for um, success building are strategies that they can generalize into their other core classes. The whole purpose is so that they can generalize those strategies and then they can read the text that they're given in their other classes and have a better comprehension. The kids have begun to have more of an awareness of the importance of reading skills in order to be successful. Um, it's really caused them to try harder in their classes, to try harder on their standardized testing. Um, in English too, we did this I believe statements and it's basically taking on what they have experienced in life and making one bold statement. And he wrote about the reading class. He simply wrote, you know, Passing that test, that Iowa assessment, was the best thing that's ever happened to me. I felt so proud of myself and I feel so confident coming in my classes now. It's not every day a student writes about being proud about passing an Iowa assessment. Uh, you know, reading as an important strategy. We need to recognize with our kids that reading is still important, that they didn't learn everything they need to know in middle school and elementary school, that there are still things they can learn. So it helped me to understand that there are still a ways to go for them and that I need to be part of that process. When our kids have become better readers and stronger readers, they're more successful students. They read, they retain, there takes less time to do homework, less time to do projects. They're more successful. I had students who told me, I don't like to read when they walked in, and now they're avid readers. So it's exciting to see them get that passion. Because you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one time, and I feel like that helps out a lot. Like, because there isn't as many students and there isn't as much pressure and stuff like that. It, it helps out a lot more in other classes. Like, it's not just this class and it's not just reading. It helps out in science and a lot more things that you just read in, like a lot more classes. Uh, being in reading class helped me in my other classes because it gave me strategies also and ways to also work harder in other subjects and, you know, uh, Sometimes, you know, when you have uh, struggles in other classes, you know, you may not know ways, but, you know, being in reading class, you know, gave me ways how to, you know, overcome those. So, you know, it also helped me work harder in those other subjects, too. And one thing I enjoy the most probably would be uh, getting on certain topics, you know, stuff that actually I am interested in, you know. Um, I think I've gained a lot of skills that I could use in the, wor in the real world, and... Um, I got to meet really good teachers that I can look up to now because it's um, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time and there's smaller classes so that you get you get the help that you need and you also learn really helpful skills that you can use in the real world. What's your favorite part about going into a reading class? Um, I think it's seeing the teacher's face every day. Just smile it makes me happy. 
Every morning, students ready to learn are greeted by teachers eager to teach. Walk into any DMPS school and you see people, not numbers. Teachers and administrators use data to inform their work, but the focus is always the student. Madison Elementary School. East High School. Perkins Elementary School. Weeks Middle School. North High School. Federal Middle School. Des Moines Public Schools. 